our story today is going to help us keep building upon what our community looks like and how it works during the coronavirus. And so, our social studies question that we're going to add to our brain today asks us this. What are characteristics of role models in our community? Yeah, and what do we think a role model is? Does any, has anyone ever heard that word before? Yeah, a role model is maybe someone we look up to. Something that they do or something that they say. Wow, it really means a lot to us and we think that they do awesome things and so they might be our role model. They help make the community a better place. And so while we're reading our story today called Maybe Something Beautiful, we're going to think about what are some role models in our community doing and why are they role models during the coronavirus? And so to help us better understand the text, we're going to keep going through our story elements. Remember at the beginning, we're going to find out about the, say it, yep, setting and characters. Very good. Give yourselves a hula hula, hula hula, hula hula. And then, and then in the middle, what do we get to learn about? Oh, the problem. But at the end, there's going to be a solution. Very good. So put your reading brains on. Sitting up so straight and tall. Maybe something beautiful. There's the title page. The title's so important that they write it twice. Yeah, and this story says how art transformed a neighborhood it's actually based off of a true story, which means that this really happened in a city in California, and then the author and illustrator wanted to share it in a book. Okay, so this is the beginning. Let's look for character and setting. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. I know I have a lot of artists in my class too. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, she taped a glowing sun onto the wall, hiding in the shadow. Her city was less gray, but not much. I noticed that the illustrator made everything in the community gray, except for her pictures and the characters, yeah. So we know some of the characters so far. What are they? We've got Mira, yeah. Policeman, Mr. Sachs. When we use the name of characters, it helps us remember the story. Mr. Henry, Miss Lopez. And when she hands them her illustration, I think their facial expression changes. I think they feel a little bit more peaceful or joyful. So now we know the setting of the story. The setting's painted in gray, but what is the setting? Yeah, you could say the setting's the community. The setting is her neighborhood. And we know because it's based off a true story, this is set in California, but it could be just like your neighborhood. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful. Then just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow! The shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. 
I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a paintbrush. Then come on. So their tools are paintbrushes. That's a compound word. Paintbrush, paintbrush. Let's see what they do with the paintbrushes. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yeah, we the wall lit up like sunshine. What's happening to the setting? What's happening to the community? Yeah, it's starting to get colorful. It's starting to brighten up. So I think Mira, in the middle of this story with the muralist, saw a problem. What was their problem? You're right. Oh my gosh, give your brains a kiss. So smart. Their problem was that their community was really gray. There wasn't a lot of joy being spread. Now let's continue to read about how they solved this problem. So we were at, it's okay to reread, I'll reread this page. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yeah, we, the wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, remember a muralist doesn't just draw on paper, they draw on walls like sides of buildings. I've seen one before in downtown St. Louis. Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, salsa, bebop. Wow, look at that woman's face. She's a community member, and I think she feels really joyful. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... Policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. <clears throat> May I paint with you? He asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. So he's a really big role model in the community, right? Because he, he goes around and checks that people follow the rules. And Mira thought he was going to tell her that they couldn't do the mural anymore. Teachers and papas jumped in. Babies, too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush color spread throughout the streets. And so did Joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, Art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. Look at those faces. So much joy, so much positivity. When their clothes were splattered with millions of colors, everyone sat down to rest except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. Canvas is like a thick paper that you can paint on, but he's a muralist, and so he's saying you can paint anywhere and be an artist. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. The end. So, at one time, the colorful East Village near downtown San Diego, California, that's, that was their setting, did not have murals on the wall, nor quotes from Gandhi or Martin Luther King. Benches were not the works of art that you can see now, and people living in the area were not part of the vibrant community that they have today. Instead, the streets were gray and dab. But one day, a husband-wife team, he was an artist, and she was a community leader, moved in and transformed their neighborhood into a place of beauty. And so that husband-wife team they must be role models in the community because they empowered a little girl like her 
to be able to bring joy in a way that she knew how, adding paint to walls. And so there's been lots. Oh, let's do, um, so how did Mira solve the problem in her community? Her community was gray and bleak and not a lot of joy. But at the end of the story, what did we find out? She worked with the muralist and she invited all of her community to work together to build something that they found beautiful. And so she used something that she knew how to do and she was passionate about painting to bring joy. And you might be thinking, wait, I thought a role model had to be someone bigger and older. No, you can be a role model because you can use a passion that you have to help spread joy to your community. That's what a role model does. They do something that helps others in their community. And so when we think about the coronavirus, I have lots of role models. I think about people who are making masks for other people in their community to stay healthy. That's a role model that I have. I also think about the grocery store clerks and the nurses who all still go to work so we can stay safe in our house. Wow, they are leaders in the community because they're not thinking about themselves. They're thinking about the rest of their community. And so those are role models too. Can you think of a role model in your community? Yeah, if they are doing something that helps our community, especially in a time of need like right now, they are a really good role model. And maybe you could write them a letter to let them know that. So. Just like Mira got to spread joy and beauty in her neighborhood, I hope that you and your role models can continue doing the same. Bye.